Hello and welcome to EDT 580. For those of you who haven't met me before, I'm Johanna Prince and looking forward to working with you this summer and uh, for many of you it'll be the first time I meet you in person, which I'm also really looking forward to. At this point, hopefully you've had a chance to review the syllabus and what I'm going to share with you now is kind of a more detailed outline of how the work is chunked out and what is due when. So this document that I have shared with you that's our work schedule We'll just break down in a more detailed fashion um, what's going to be in each of the weeks and then also give you the due dates and to give you any relevant links um, that you are going to need. Um, it will tell you which of the chapters that we're working on and then sort of what the work is due um, and again just if there's any um, helpful hints or samples to give you. Um, You'll notice throughout the document there's a couple sections that are just called play, and they, they really are play. The central question I want us to look at is how do we make learning um, more joyful, more playful, um, and sort of bring that energy to our students and to our own practice as teachers. So for the play, it's really just inspiration. Um, there's nothing due, but feel free, uh, if you find something great, to, to share it out on one of our channels, um, either the EdTech207 hashtag on Twitter, um, inside our Google Classroom, in the Facebook group, or uh, in the LinkedIn group as well. Um, you'll see links to those further down. Um, to get started, I'm going to make sure that your at main email is active. Make sure that you add a photo or avatar to your at main.edu email account. You'll know you've done that successfully because you'll have an image of yourself up here when you're logged in. Um, you are going to join Google Classroom. Here's the code for you. And then post an introduction to um, in the introduction document. Um, you can just use the next available uh, row in the document. You'll give us your first name. If you have kind of a preferred, you can give us both. Um, your um, The name that we'll kind of see printed with your account and then a preferred name, a photo, your Twitter handle, and then just a, a short paragraph about yourself, who you are, what kind of work that you do. Um, so that is kind of just the getting started. I am asking you in this really compressed format to get that done by Wednesday the 25th. Um, what I've also given you here is that most of you are using um, kind of a multiple uh, Google-based emails um, and so keeping track of your at main.edu. Um, adding a profile in Chrome is a really helpful way to do that so that you can manage multiple Gmail accounts. So I've just given you a link here on how to do that and the instructions here um, but again you do need to use the Chrome browser. Um, some of you might not do that or have other strategies. So that's sort of the getting started and then the first week of work um, from both of the books from the Resnick book um, chapters one and two and also from the Willingham book chapters one and two as well. Um, the books are really different. Resnick I think you'll find a quicker read um, but Willingham I really like his approach to helping us rethink how we do learning and why is it that kids like certain things versus others. Um, and then I'm going to have you use the question function in Google Classroom to post a response um, to some questions I've asked here and then respond to a peer. Um, Google Classroom, when you get to it, um, if you haven't used Google Classroom before, um, it's, a, it's a pretty easy workflow. Um, you can always view your upcoming work here. Um, and then you can go back here to your class. Um, on your tab, uh, instead of students, it'll say classmates, I believe, but you'll be able to see, and then right now none of you are in there, uh, you'd be able to invite anyone or uh, email anyone from this tab. And then on the about, this is kind of a static page where I will add various documents that you might want to. So you'll see again the introduction and the work due document. The stream will post the top, will be the most recent post by myself or anyone else. Um, as a student, you should be able to uh, create a post. Um, you will not have quite the same options just um, because I've got the instructor capacity there. Um, 
So you will see that there is a question here. Um, when you click on that, you will have to post your response before you'll be able to see anyone else's, um, but then you'll be able to edit your own and reply. So again, it will tell you um, sort of how to post here from our work schedule. And then I've also given you from here um, a bit of a sample post um, and some more guidance around the length and how to do the quoting. As long as you're using Resnick or Willingham, um, you can just um, do the author year. Remember, if it's a direct quote, it gets a page number. If it's not a direct quote, it just gets a reference to the text. You do not need to give the APA citation at the end, um, but if you bring in an outside source, then you would want to fully cite that. So, um, Please be in touch if you have questions in getting started here. I will check in again the beginning of next week to make sure folks are off and uh, running with things. And uh, again, really looking forward to working with you. I think you'll find these two texts paired with the face-to-face -face component will um, be energizing and hopefully get you excited for the year ahead. So I'm um, looking forward to it. And again, let me know if you have questions.